Hello guys, so um, I'm here with another um, repair which is uh, we will be doing our Samsung Galaxy series. This is Samsung Galaxy S7 phone and the charging port is broken. Um, these Samsung Galaxy phones, um, they are a little bit harder to replace the charging port because the whole charging port flex cable the option and the back button they are going inside behind the LCD so you can't just replace uh, the whole flex cable you have to replace just the charging port so I thought maybe I should share a video with you how to do this repair easily so here so LCD is working all good is the charging port is broken and this is what I was talking about see this is the charging port this is the whole flex cable but this flex cable is also has got option and back button which is underneath the screen you just can't replace the whole cable and these boards with the flex cable they are a little bit fragile not as strong as we are doing on the logic board and next thing is because you know how see sorry see how close can i see here see how close this is from this home button this home button click is also mounted on um, this this board flex cable board so while of course we have to heat it up to remove it so we have to be careful be very careful not to burn the home button click underneath and any plastic of the frame so but it's not a difficult repair it's easy repair so i will show you how so i will move you here so first of all i have already um, covered the plastic part and where the other sensitive components are especially the mic which is here um, with the heat resist tape so now the next one we know what we have to do is set the right temperature and just a little bit i will put you a little bit more closer here i think here is okay so the next thing we will be doing is of course a bit of luck so that we can bring the temperature low and then I will get the heat gun but here remember the batteries are very heat sensitive and like sort of explosive so we don't want to heat the battery so what I'm gonna do is put some more protection on the battery and I'm just looking for my the weight which I can put yep I can put this one here okay and then start heating and then at the same time I'm holding this charging port little bit and then I will give it a little bit of nudge so that because it has got some glue as well which this is holding see how nicely it has come out so I will just remove everything from here and here and also remove this I don't need these anymore okay so the next thing I will be doing is um, cleaning the pads 
so the next thing we will be doing is cleaning it I can still see that glue and this excessive solder which we have to remove so I will clean the tape and where is my solder braid which is here and okay so let's give it a clean uh, we have to clean make sure these holes where the legs of the charging port will be sitting and especially this is grounding area it's supposed to be flat which I can see it is now and then little bit of glue which is pretty hard I will remove it from here and now the next thing is to get some cleaning stuff and make sure you don't put a lot of don't I won't recommend putting a lot of isopropyl alcohol here because underneath is the other mechanism for the home button the click and if there is more sort of liquid especially isopropyl alcohol is going inside that can damage the home button click so this is now pretty clean and more clean okay and this is where the mic is I can see a little bit anything inside no that looks all good but I do um, ideally there should be no liquid to go here so I will just give it a little bit of blow before I put the new charging port because prevention is better than cure so I don't want any of the liquid to be here so I'm just blowing away anything which is close to the mic anything which is anyway that's all done and then the new charging port see how nicely it's sitting here here now here I think I have already shown you before under these situations where you need something to hold up on the logic board you can use reverse user rather than you know juggling around so let's come back here again and see I will move it a little bit away so that you can see so see how nicely this charging port is sitting and then a bit of flux and then I will replace the tip because it's very important especially in micro soldering to use the right tip if you are not using the right tip you might not get desired results or, or a fineness in your soldering so now my tip is cleaned I will get some and you have to use the right solder wire as well so for and these sort of minor details that is only possible you learn from somewhere we offer logic board repair courses micro soldering and if you would like to learn more of these you can take one of our courses and um, start your own business start making 
some good money because there is a lot of competition now LCD and battery replacement not gonna make you lot of lot of money anyway so see this is done 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 and done and this is little bit not melting the way I want it even though it's all soldered but I like fine yeah maybe there was not enough so the next thing I will be doing is because these so I will remove that user so the next thing I will be doing is uh, soldering the legs otherwise see these two the way they made it so they are pretty strong to hold it down but I will still do a little bit of soldering here and here as well to make sure we have done job professionally and nicely okay here and so now this one I got very very low melt <laughs> very very low melt is like maybe this one is 180 degrees because if I'm using the one which I have used on the connectors I might not be able to oh, come on melt this easily because greater thermal mass on these grounded pads so anyway this is all done so now the next thing is I will get the charger and uh, it should start charging I will just get <coughs> the micro USB cable and I will be back so I get the cable now so let's put this cable here uh oh no move okay can you see guys charging i will remove this as well make sure the button is working yep okay it's charging so guys thank you very much for watching that was um just wanted to share with you how to do these micro soldering um, charging ports on Samsung Galaxy. Thank you for watching.